Hello and welcome back guys, hope you're all doing well. If this is your first time viewing, I'm Jay, welcome to the allotment. Uh, just a quick shout out and hello to all the new subs. Thanks for joining guys. Uh, just got a few jobs to do today. I've uh, got a few repairs, uh, I need to repair me polytunnel. I've got some uh, gorilla tape there and it was a cheap way of doing things, but you know, it's all I can afford at the minute. So I'm gonna patch a few things up. Uh, also, I'm gonna try and make a start on uh, getting some onion sets in, possibly some peas, some lettuces, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff sewn today. So yeah, let's crack on. Right, so here's uh, some of the things I'm gonna be uh, sewing today. Uh, pretty much, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, things that I've previously done in the last couple of years. Kale, these are all your lettuces here. Uh, my queen, yeah, iceberg lettuce, Lola Rossa, love the Lola Rossa. One of my favorites. Uh, so I'm just two, some peas. Uh, I'm gonna try this mix one here. As I said before, I've got onion sets that I'm going to start. So I'm going to go through them, see how they are, get them in. I'm also going to try some of these uh, 23 bulbs in there, maybe three or four. I'm going to give them a go as well. I've already pre-soaked my soil. I'm just going to uh, just going to whack the, uh, the onion. Uh, yeah, they should be all right. They should be, uh, should be wet enough. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Uh, and start sorting these onion sets out now. Yeah, so the onion set's pretty straightforward to do. Uh, just make sure they're all right, they're not like mouldy or anything like that. Uh, this one's looking all right, and it's literally just a case of popping them in. Uh, you don't have to push them in too hard. But yeah, push them down nicely, and that is that is it. So I'm going to get all them filled up now, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll start saving some more. So I've never done these before, I'm not massive on flowers, I've always wanted to do flowers more, so uh, we'll give these a go. Uh, I did get five, uh, five in a pack, so I'm guessing I'm just going to put these down deep, and then I'm just going to put some soil on top of them, I think that'll be the easiest way for me to do so. It should be alright like that. So I'm guessing they go at the bottom there like that. Need that one a little bit deeper maybe. There we go. I'll uh, cover these up. Yeah, the uh, the taps are still off as well at the uh, on the site, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, I've got loads of uh filled up a load of milk cartons to uh to bring some water down. I know it's not ideal, but what can you do, eh? Hopefully they should be going back on in April because it's an absolute nightmare when the uh, water's off. I know I get why they do it because of the uh, the pipes and that you don't want it frozen, but it's just a bit of a pain really, especially with me having the chickens and you know after bringing water down every day. What it is, what it is. Right, so that's that. I'm gonna get some more soil on top of each one of these, uh, give them a quick water. I'm gonna pop them up on the side there. Hopefully it should be warm enough in a polytunnel now. As I said before, I was uh, I patched a few holes up. Uh, we had some, it all started coming apart at the top here, so I've uh, covered all that down. And uh, same again with the green elves, there was a few, uh, a few of the panels come through uh, the bit of the plastic bits. So I've done them as well. Uh, so I've just used that Gorilla tape. Uh, so hopefully it should be strong enough and uh, it is used for outdoors, so it should be okay. And after I've done these, I'm going to start doing the peas and then I'll move on to the lettuces. Right, so moving on to the peas, uh, it's been a little bit of a nightmare to uh, sort of do a bit of recording today because I uh, usually use a uh, tripod, uh, but I've actually broke it, so I've had to, uh, obviously, I'm using my hand. Whereas I'd uh, obviously just place the tripod to the side and uh, yeah, away you go. But, you know, I'll try and do it one-handed anyway. Doo -doo -doo. Right, so... Take that one over that one, that could go in there. And one fell over down there, you can go in there. Right, so I've been done 18 of these. Uh, these are gonna go up against the uh, that fence against my shed. Uh, didn't work out too well last year. Well, uh, new year, we'll see how we go. Right, so that's all them. Give them a good little press down. Make sure the, uh, the soil con makes contact with the seed or the pea or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that just needs water in, and then that's that one done. So that can go there once it's watered. Let me just throw these up here. Oh, 
I'm going to need to update my seed box as well. I haven't uh, got too many in there at the moment. I haven't bought any for a while. So I think that'll be a uh, little, a little idea for anybody. Oh, what do you want for Christmas? Yeah, just get some seeds. It'd be the easiest thing to do. Right, so that's them. Uh, obviously, I just need to put water in them, which I'm going to do in a sec. And then I'm going to move on to all these lettuces here. I'm just going to throw these in. I've got a tray down here ready. And I'm literally just going to scatter them in. And uh, put some uh, compost on top. So just popped down to uh, sort the chickens out, and uh, as you can probably hear, it's uh, quite windy today. But, uh, I've also managed to bring some of the seedlings uh, down from home. Uh, ooh, so we'll pop these in the greenhouse, I'm going to uh, give them a quick water. So we've got the tomatoes here, so luckily the uh, tomatoes have come through. Uh, nothing yet on the peppers, uh, I'm not sure if they are going to come through. I'm going to leave them in here anyway, give them water now, and just hope for the best. And the aubergines as well, they're looking okay. And still nothing on the strawberries either, so I'm not too sure on them or not. But uh, at least I've got something anyway. Uh, these are going to get repotted in the next couple of days. Uh, probably give it another two, three days. And uh, yeah, I think they're ready to be uh, repotted. So I'll, uh, I'll sort them out in the next video. Uh, other than that, that's everything to show you guys. We're all up to date. And also I'm going to uh, start sowing a few more seeds in the air uh, within the next couple of weeks as well and I'm uh, going to start looking at doing some corn and things like that. Uh, I need to go out and get some more seeds and looking at doing some cabbage but uh, we like the Savoy cabbage or the Sweet Yard cabbage so I'm going to get some, uh, some, some of those seeds in and uh, give them a go. Uh, but other than that that's pretty much everything so uh, thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.